All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. Now, the name of the video is uh, Angelina Jolie exposes Oprah's creepy girls' school in Africa. Oh, God. <laughs> let's, let's jump into it, guys. Oprah Winfrey's controversial school for girls was recently hit with yet another disturbing scandal, and reports are circulating that these scandals are the main reason why Angelina Jolie famously refused to support Oprah's charity work. But to believe that you can take them as property and them and sell them and it's something from the dark ages it is just so uh, horrific but it's it's not isolated to Nigeria it's no secret that Angelina Jolie has never been a fan of Oprah however the tabloids always claim that Angelina snubbed Oprah over her friendship with Jennifer Aniston however we're now hearing that Angelina's feud with Oprah was motivated by something much more serious and Angelina reportedly had serious concerns over Oprah's girls school as well as Oprah's rumored connection to Hollywood predators it was called Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls. And I had girls there from grades 8 to 12. But look how weird this is. Number of students, 322. But the faculty members, 666. So what's really going on at Oprah's Girls School? Does Angelina Jolie Bro, know the real on, truth man. about Oprah's Listen. dark side? Let's break it down. Come the first on. time I was in Cambodia was the first time I realized. I think we all have that. Okay, listen. Okay. All right. A lot of people are stressed out about the number 666. I understand, right? Um, it's weird, right? I mean, uh, you know, you have three times the amount of uh, faculty members uh, as students. We get that, guys. <laughs> but is that the reason why she's angry? Because 666? A moment in our lives where we kind of really question how much we know in our education and what we've been told. Angelina Jolie and Oprah Winfrey have both built reputations as philanthropists and humanitarians, and yet they never really got along. In fact, Angelina reportedly has so much animosity towards Oprah that she can't even stand to be in the same room as her. Even when Angelina was still married well, to Brad happened? Pitt, Brad went on the Oprah show alone to discuss their family life, while Angelina repeatedly turned down Oprah's invites. I think I read in some magazine where um, um, Angelina was saying that you all, as a family, is the greatest thing you all have done for your lives. Yeah, I, as I say, it's, a, it's the greatest thing I've ever taken on. I, I, I can't imagine life without it. And though tabloids initially speculated that Angelina was mad at Oprah for showing her support to Brad's ex, Jennifer Aniston, if that's the case, it's super petty, guys. Reports recently emerged that Angelina didn't care about any of that tabloid drama, and her main issue with Oprah allegedly stems from the disturbing scandals that plagued Oprah's school for girls in Africa. In 2007, Oprah opened a boarding school for girls in South Africa called the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls, and was she was reportedly expensive. hoping to get Angelina's endorsement. Hello, everybody. These are my girls. This has been a long time coming. This is not just for me... Um, you know, some small idea. This is a supreme moment of destiny for me. I've been coming to this day my entire life. By that point, Angelina had already adopted her daughter, Zahara, from an orphanage in Ethiopia. And in 2008, she traveled to another African country, Namibia, to give birth to her and Brad's first biological child, Shiloh. Oprah was convinced that Angelina's connection to Africa would be enough to convince her to endorse her school. However, Angelina allegedly wanted no part in it, and one insider later said that Oprah was shocked to hear no because she's used to celebs fawning over her. Oprah thought Angelina would jump at the chance because she knows how much Angelina loves Africa, the insider said, adding, Oprah says it's the last time she'll ask Angelina to help with any of her causes. And though Angelina didn't know at that point that Oprah's school would end up being exposed for some very disturbing things, she reportedly had a bad feeling about the project. And Angelina wasn't the only one who felt this way. Multiple journalists criticized Oprah's school for being a vanity project, pointing out that the $40 million she spent on luxury facilities for a select group of girls could have benefited a far greater number of students across the country. Okay, now, so from all of what we've heard here, that's what I think is the, the issue right there. Um, they're not wrong. Um, I think she has a couple of schools in Africa um, where the average school costs around $3 million to build. Uh, then there's one gigantic one in South Africa, right? Uh, costing about $40 million. Yeah. Uh, could it have gone? Could she have spent that money elsewhere for, the, for, for like more people? Absolutely. It's her money, though, right? Um, that's, you know, how capitalism works, though, right? I mean, it's, it's her money generally um and the, but the thing about it is is that um a lot of the scandals um to my knowledge had to do with like teachers right uh, 
And I don't think that she very specifically is the one that's hiring these teachers. Yeah, they're happening in her facility, um, but I don't know if um, you can actually like give a concrete answer on if it's actually her or the people hiring, if that makes any sense, guys. Now, um, but uh, let's continue. I did not know that, that Angelina Jolie didn't like Oprah, though. I had no idea, but all right, let's get it. Writing for Newsweek, journalist Allison Samuels revealed that the South African government initially wanted to help Oprah build the school. However, they pulled out of the project over criticism that the academy was too elitist and lavish for such a poor country. However, Oprah didn't care, and she fired back, saying her plan was to take girls with that it quality and give them an opportunity to make a difference in the world. I'd like to think I have as much good sense as I have money, so that's a lot of good sense, Oprah said. But with all that money and common sense, we can't help but wonder how come Oprah chose all those sketchy people to teach her girls? And if and that's, that's the thing. Um, again, I don't think that any of these people went to America or Oprah went there to hire these people. She probably hired like a local um, like hiring firm or something, wherever the people go to get jobs, that thing. Right. Um, that probably is what happened. And they themselves uh, being from this very specific local area, uh, maybe there was some nepotism involved in hiring very specific people. Um, there are a lot of issues, guys. There could be a lot of issues. I don't think that Oprah, again, I don't think that she very specifically was there to hire anyone. I, I would expect her to be probably too busy for that. If you don't know what we're talking about, well, just months after the school was opened, a female member of staff was arrested after multiple students reported to commit indecent assault. Oprah immediately flew to South Africa to meet with school officials and parents. However, she later seemingly downplayed the incident during a press conference, claiming the girls weren't actually subjected to SA. Okay. They didn't use the word They implied that something inappropriate was going on. Oprah but what? But what? what? What inappropriate was going on, though, guys? Also revealed that after she talked to the girls, more victims came forward who were previously scared of other staff members. As a result of that conversation with the girls, by the next day, five other brave girls had come forward. But all the girls were afraid of repercussions from the remaining dorm matrons. So we immediately... Bro, I got the story. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, so listen, so according to, to reports in South Africa, um, this is coming from, uh, give you a source here, VIS TV. Here's the thing. So according to the reports in South Africa, it, inv it involves a girl who had run away um, from the school recently. She claims that against one of the dorm mothers. Now, keep in mind, guys, c culture is different. Guys, right. Um, you know, here here, like in the United States of America, it's less likely to see a teacher putting her hands on a kid. But, bro, go anywhere else, like outside of like the UK and the United States of America and, and probably Australia, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, your kid is going to get their hand, they're going to get hands put on them, bro, right? Um, I'm not trying to make excuses for it, but that's generally what happens. So if, if some type of like hiring manager hired someone locally um, from that very specific culture in Africa, I can only imagine that there were hands being put on these kids, guys, uh, physically, all right? Um, but anyway, so um, saying uh, the dorm mother said something like, um, this woman has has been putting her hands on these girls physically and verbally. Um, she's used profanity, and most seriously, she had some essay going on, bro. Right, with at least one of the children there. So one of the children in this in her school um, were were accosted in a way that is not okay, guys. Right, uh, obviously, um, she was a little handsy. Apparently, um, let's get it. Immediately removed all remaining dorm matrons and put teachers in rotation in the dorms. That's a but good see, idea. According Th that would have been a better idea in the first place, though. To Newsweek, Oprah personally picked the china, uniforms, sheets, and beds for the girls. And then you should have picked this, the teachers. And she even tested the beds herself for comfort. So we're expected to believe that Oprah put in more effort in picking sheets and beds for the school than selecting school staff? Probably. I mean, are we expected to believe it? I don't think that she honestly chose her staff. I don't, I don't, well, how about this? I think she chose the, like the, the, the higher ups, the executives, absolutely. But the ones who are like specifically interacting with um, the, the, the girls, like the dorm mothers, the ones who are literally most likely living in the dorm and taking care of the needs of the children, guys, 
I don't think she hired those people, bro, right? Um, that doesn't even sound like someone that owns a company would do, right? I mean, I, I'm a company owner. I don't think that I would, like if I had a, a gigantic corporation, I'm not sure I would hire um, a lot of the lower level staff. I, I don't think I would. I don't think anyone would, right? You hire someone to do that for you, generally. Um, and with her net worth, also, Oprah spent $40 million on this school, and yet there were no security cameras anywhere. But the controversies didn't end there. What? Multiple parents <laughs> later no came forward cameras. claiming they were only allowed to visit their children at school once a month. It was a nightmare, one mother said. See? We had only two hours to see right. my child. Surely right. this isn't a prison or an institution. Kind of. It probably what uh, guys i keep stopping because this is getting a little juicy here guys i like the juiciness so here's the thing guys when it comes to that very specific thing if you are from like a super impoverished country nothing against you right nothing against how you're raised and all those other things but i'm almost positive that oprah school is a first world school Right? Like it is a school that is teaching these girls most likely how to maintain themselves in our society you know what I'm saying here, guys? Uh, so if you're allowing the influence of, uh, of like, the local area to seep back in through the school to kind of rip away what's being unfortunate, guys, that sounds like, wait a second, that sounds terrible. Okay, hold on, I get it, I get it. It sounds like indoctrination. It is indoctrination. The, Oprah School is indoctrinating the children to become more Western. Um. And yeah, I can only imagine that she purposely was was like separating uh, the kids from the families, um, specifically for that reason, um, just to make them more functional in our society, then allow them once they get older, whatever it is, go back to their own very specific society um, and thrive. That's probably what it was, but yeah, it sounds terrible. I wouldn't send my kid to this school. I can't see my kid. What, what, I get it. I am who I am, but you want my kid to be this way. Yeah, I mean, listen, I don't, I'm not really for the, the concept of like indoctrinated children um, specifically and, and not allowing the, um, the parents to see the kid or have any insight into the kid's life. I get it, bro. It's a, it's a double-edged sword here. Do you want your child to succeed? Internationally or not. That's kind of, I'm almost positive that was the overall attitude, guys. And according to another report, the SA allegations only came to light after one girl literally ran away from the school and told her parents she couldn't handle it anymore. However, it gets. Oh, uh, so the only, so the, yeah, the, what did we just read about here, guys? It's worse. In February 2011, a dead baby was discovered in one of the students' backpacks. However, a spokesman for Oprah told ABC News that Oprah would not be commenting on this case. But what made all these allegations even more disturbing is that in 2010, Oprah traveled to Brazil to meet self-proclaimed medium and convicted offender, John of God. One of the most famous spiritual healers in the world rarely talks to anyone on camera. John of God agreed to sit down with me under a mango tree on the grounds of the casa. The first time I saw it today, I was humbled by the experience. She said when she saw the first people today, a little isso aqui pertence a você. Because a little bit of this belongs to you. A part of this belongs to you. John ran a spiritual center in Brazil where he performed healing ceremonies on desperate people. However, in reality, he was How many of them were healed? Doing something much worse. And in 2018, he turned himself into the authorities after facing over 600 accusations of SA. John was sentenced to over 60 years in prison. And yet, all Oprah did was delete the interview with John from her website and issued a short statement saying she hopes the victims get justice. But isn't it interesting how all these stories were quickly suppressed in the media and no one even talks about Oprah's sketchy school anymore or her connections to all these creepy men? Well, the public may have forgotten about it, but Angelina Jolie certainly didn't. And a source close to Angelina recently revealed that she still can't stand Oprah, and she allegedly feels the real truth about Oprah is yet to be exposed. On top of that, Angelina knows Oprah was friends with Harvey Weinstein for Guys, years, and Angelina previously spoke out against him, <laughs> telling New York Times, I had a bad experience with Weinstein in my youth, and as a result, chose never to work with him again, and warn others when they did. As for fans, they're saying Angelina was right to trust her intuition because something definitely seems off about Oprah and her school. Good for her, one fan said. She knows who Oprah really is. How's Harvey, Oprah? I remember the picture of her tongue in his ear. Sick people. And another fan wrote, Jolie is a mom first and philanthropist second and an actress third. She is very intuitive. 
Oprah and Harvey Weinstein's relationship would ruin Angelina's image if any of the girls in the school would be harmed. She knows Hollywood inside and out, coming from famous acting parents herself. She knows who to associate with and who not to. But let's hear your thoughts on this. What do you think is the real reason Angelina refuses to associate with Oprah? Let us know in the comments. And Here's the thing. I don't think anyone has at all. I don't think anyone can even answer that question. What's the reason why, why this person doesn't personally deal with Oprah? Bro, who knows, right? Um, listen, the Harvey Weinstein thing, guys, that's crazy. I, I mean, listen, that's probably the only thing that can be like, oh, my, Oprah, what, what's wrong with you? Right? <laughs> like, like, why? I mean, how would she? Uh, I don't know, guys. Right? I, I'm, I'm an evidence first person, guys. I need something concrete in front of my face, right? That's who I am as an individual, guys. Um, out of all of these things, I, I, I don't know, guys. I can't falter on the, the hiring. Well, the hiring thing, guys, how does Oprah choose her staff? Again, I don't think she chooses her. I don't think she chooses the, the lower uh, level staff at all. I just, don't, I just don't see someone doing that. Um, the upper level, the ones that she's going to be dealing with always and consistently, definitely, right? Um, I think if... Most likely, if we've researched deep enough, we could probably find out exactly who hired that person. I guarantee you, it's not Oprah. Um, that doesn't. That just doesn't sound plausible. Um, mm, the baby inside the backpack thing. Oh, that's that's weird, bro. Listen, but again, <laughs> uh, things are different outside of the United States of America, guys. Right? Um, but I don't think a you know a baby in a backpack. That's that's normal anywhere. I hope not, guys. That's just ridiculous. Um, but all right, guys, listen, you guys let me know your opinion. Uh, do you think that this is even like a, a thing, guys? Uh, I, I know a lot of people probably do, though, bro. They do. I think they do, guys. Um, but all right, listen, I'm, I'm here to kind of be the, 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 the middle voice in a sense, right? But all right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly, guys.